In today's multicultural spotlight, the closing of the Him by Her charter school is causing heartbreak. Parents only have a few weeks to find a new school for their kids. They're telling News 8's multicultural reporter Katira Winfrey this is a huge blow. I spoke to one parent who says she brought her son to this school for the educational experience, but also a cultural one, saying she wanted him in a place with people who looked like him. Now, the makeup of this school reflects the neighborhood, and she says with the school shutting down, it'll be a bit too much to bear for some. It's quiet outside him by her collegiate school for the arts, and come January 20th, it'll stay that way. The school is shutting down. I drive every day from Noblesville down into the city just to make sure he can be educated around people that look like him and they share a lot of our cultural beliefs. Um, and it was hard enough finding that or that organization and that program. Shel Terrell's fourth grade son attends the school and says there was no indication this was coming. It was just a place where you felt safe and comfortable. You wanted your kids to go. School officials say enrollment and money factored into the tough decision and Terrell says the school only occupies a small portion of the building and a recent fundraising event had a low turnout. I really feel like we could have came together as a community to overcome um, that financial situation. With the closure it's taking away more than a building but mentorship and motivation outreach something Montana Fitzpatrick says is needed for many in this east side community. I brought a program to the school because in that area uh is it's, it's probably going on over there it's not a lot of things going on in that area or therefore it's like mentorship he's the ceo of fresh start resource indy and holds a couple programs for youth and with the new session set to start he's also looking for a new place for the kids to go it's sad that a lot of these kids are going to miss out on this school that's why you're in our community terrell says she's narrowed down some backup school options but knows it's going to be hard to find a place that feels safe and like home. The school says to help out with the transition, they will be holding an enrollment fair January 6th and January 14th. Reporting in Indianapolis, Katira Winfrey, Wish TV, WishTV.com, and follow us on Facebook.